Welcome back to our final series of the day as we round things up with complexity against NIP. A pretty hype matchup indeed, actually. I it should know. be. I wonder if complexity is going to be able to step it up a bit after that last series. They have to, right? It's an IP we're talking about. They really do have to have that kind of mental reset, mm. think about their opponents, ignore the, you know, ignore and forget the last game because the series didn't go particularly well. A few elements of, yeah, they looked all right, but... Uh, you know. Maybe they get Kips there, as you said, into the booth to hype them up, to, to force them to think as a team, to think as one unit, instead of being scattered across the map, actually, and just picked off time after time. We'll see how it goes in this matchup right now. Talking about bands, or are we going to talk about bands? Yes, yeah, I just had to quickly show below what? the screen the odds. Oh, what the odds? And you dancing for <laughs> for complexity. All right. Well, the odds are nice. If you if you're a betting man, and you bet on complexity, Radiant you have some good odds for you you yeah, at least. Some, There's that. Some very good odds. Yeah. Well, and I they think go NIP are uh, going to show us why these odds are exactly where they are. Well, Complexity open up with that, Sven, just like they, they did in the last match. And look at that. Tiny isn't banned out. I wonder if Complexity is going to snatch Ooh. that away because that's a hero that they can definitely win with. We were we were just discussing Limp and his remaining. Tiny just before this match. Where aren't we? Yeah, it's been first Five phase banned against remaining. them in their previous series. Puck, he's played once and then it's got banned again. And his hero pool seems Gen. to be suffering by these bans. Is our, okay, so we're not going to see the Chan CK. We're going to see the Chan regardless, though, from NIP. PPD loves playing this hero right now. And he has definitely found a way of playing it. I think it's... Which team was it? I think it's Secret that first brought him into the meta with the Chan plus CK just cr cruised over. I believe it was Liquid. And then everyone kind of started Five picking it and playing it the way they did. Mm. Basically, you don't care about that penitence. It's just Divine Favor. Use the divine favor on your carry in the lane. He, he'll never die. Then afterwards, you get that catapult. Use divine favor on the catapult. Just watch the barracks melt and disappear. And we've we've seen some fun little things as well with Lone Druid and Visage Familiars oh, and all this yeah. stuff as well with divine favor. Shadow Demon though to go along with a Chen. All right. Uh, I mean, long long time ago there was a world in which. Combinations such as Chen plus Shadow Demon were a thing, position yeah. of five and four, yeah, and also Rubik plus Chen. You you would basically just rotate across the map as those two heroes and get kills. Now the meta has Ten changed. The, the the Dota two world is a little bit different, so I'm not certain if that's Five gonna happen. But remaining. you can't get the Centaur level one, can you anymore? Yeah, you can't. So you, there's no way you're gonna disrupt into stun or something like that. But it always used to be like SD Lash, SD Lena, yeah, SD Chen. Good old times. What do you like? What do you actually do with the Shadow Demon this match? Though Shadow Demon did get buffed a few patches in a row. See, I'm wondering. I've seen him mid a couple of times casting Southeast Asian games. Dyer or Thompson played in mid as well. And, and Thompson has as well. Yeah. So it, it is a versatile hero that you know, can go into mid. I mean, even in recent times, in the past year or year and a half, mm -hmm. we've had people like Pasha VP play it offlane. Oh yeah, position three Shadow Demon is pretty alright. I mean, Thompson played it a few times on the. Major qualifier didn't really do a whole lot. He won one game, lost all the remaining Ten ones. Remaining. I think one out of three or something like that. So, Five seconds yeah, we have a Cottle now. I'm a decent fan of this. I was thinking the Grim or the Cottle here for complexity. It gives them that nice lane with Sven, potentially. But also, Wave Clear, something that Cole struggled with in their previous series. Wave Clear, you have that Chakra. I wonder if they're going to combo it with something like a Bristle or, or a hero that's similar to him. That Chakra Magic can do so much. What's happened to TB as a hero? To TB? Not TB. Like, in, in, in general, why is he just... Like, life still is being banned, but TB still not being picked. There are some carries that are perhaps a little bit better, but Terrorblade, honestly, is still strong. Like, he can still fit the meta, he can still be played. There's absolutely no reason that hero... Uh, it's like, comp like he's Being forgotten. I mean, there are some things that made him a bit harder. Like the mana on the Sunder is definitely has definitely made him a bit more difficult to work. And you can't cast Wait. on BKB. Yeah. yeah, but overall, like the hero is still alright. He's still strong if you have the right player. Can definitely uh, pull it off. They ban out the bounty NIP. 
<laughs> Are they mistaken? It's complexity that got crushed by that bounty, not the other way around. It's one of the things, right? Complexity gets crushed by it, and they they clock on. They clock they pick on. It yeah. They think, we've watched the replay back. This is this is what happened. We're gonna steal. Yeah. Borrow it a little, little bit. bit. Ten seconds remaining. Give it a little borrow. A razor they ban out removed. razor. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking Five maybe against remaining. something like a concave or for limp, maybe even that tiny. That's uh, gonna work. Mm. Tiny hasn't been banned. Juggernaut and also out there still. Yeah, yeah, I just think that this razor is giving away what they want to pick. That's how I feel about it because it's a very specific ban. It it may basically gives away that they want some melee hero, right? Pr most likely on that mid lane. And the bristleback ban, pff, I don't get it. I don't get it way too much. NIP, I think they did play it, but they played it in conjunction with Kotl because of that chakra magic plus the Cool sprays, yeah. yeah cool sprays. And who does Bristle do well against? Like, Razor and Bristle are both very obnoxious laners against a lot of these <laughs> right-click physical remaining. melee carries. Well, I guess TB Five would potentially be up there in one of the heroes Bristle does. I mean, he would be, but... Against. Like, it, it, it's just strange that they ban out the Bristle just like that. It's very interesting. There isn't, like, a huge... Uh, synergy between Shadow Demon and Bristle or Champos Bristle. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have the divine favor, but the same can be said for any hero. Oh, Wait, they respect the ban. Faceless void. Right, so they get the void. Still a versatile hero. Like they pick their two supports. Shadow Demon can float from position to position. Faceless Void can do the same. Just NIP. It can be the three Shadow Demon, as you called it before as well, right? I, I sincerely doubt that uh, they're gonna play mid. They're holding their hand close to the chest, and I pay. And maybe the Razor ban is player specific, Five banning it out remaining. from Fata. I mean, he, he always used to be one of those, right? The king of Razor. Yeah, so Vipers, Razors, these obnoxious heroes were his thing. So. Mech Invoker, Mech SF. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. well, those were the good days. How did how do you deal with this faceless void? Is Cottle enough with Blinding Light and Will O Wisp? He messes, he messes up with Chrono a fair amount. I mean, yeah, that's good. And right now, if you look at ninjas, it's not like they have a whole lot in that Chrono. Usually when you when you have Faceless Void, you want to have one of the supports that are going to be dishing out damage in that Chrono. Radiant like a Jikiro or something. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that would be awesome, but they don't have that. I mean, they're, they can go crazy but with something like an Invoker, but I don't think they even play that, honestly. And... Uh, Oh, yeah, tied for call. What cores do you have left on mid and offlane that actually combo well, well with Void? OD. OD is actually a brilliant Ten idea. Razor has been banned out. You get that OD. Uh, you're Five strong versus tight. You're strong in the chrono. I mean, that, that's, that, that I mean, definitely sounds alright. Scared of it getting banned here, surely, as well. NIP have the double pick. It's a Fata pick as well. Is kind of a hero too. Yeah. So. I'd uh, go for the I'd go for the OD. I think it's right legit. here in this fourth pick. Yeah, I think it's a dec decent legit idea. I, I wouldn't care that much about being countered on that mid lane. By what, like a sniper? <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. There's like a sniper. There's a viper, and there isn't. There aren't many more heroes that can really puck. Is how does Kunker do against OD nowadays? Uh, it's not great. You can still like trade farm, but I I think it's like when, uh, from the teams that I've been watching, it's always the same response. It's Dyer buck, it's viper, and they go for doom instead. All right, well, that's an odd one for me. No real synergy with void or Chen or SD. It's just a strange NIP draft. PPD with his next level strategies. I'm not certain what he's going for. Honestly, it's. No real synergy, as like, you just stated. Why have they picked the Doom? Ten seconds doom remain. the Tide? That's not really something you love That's Five doing. That's the remain. weird thing, right? Yeah, it's not really great. Plus, you have the Sven with Four Cry that's just going to run out. So it must have just been they wanted an Aura Carrier. Radiant someone who can doom. ramp yeah, up with the Chen, the SD. Pango for complexity. Is this, is this a Limp Tide? For or Limp Tide. Ooh. Decisions, choices. 
Are you going to put Pango mid or are you going to put Tide? You were talking about the Pango mid earlier. I think I'd rather see Pango mid because Tide is much better versus Void, right? Yeah. But you haven't last picked that Pango. And, Ten seconds like, he might remaining. get countered. But what do you counter him with? It's Puck. not like... <laughs> I mean... Five seconds yeah, remaining. Later on, Puck is definitely great versus him, right? With, with the leash. But in the laning stage... He's not going to suffer versus him. So he's still going to hit that timing of his. And he's still going to rotate across the map, create space for the, for his teammates. Like Honestly, this draft from Nip is something that looking over their past draft is, is completely out of left field. Chen, normal. Like each individual pick is like normal on its own, Dying but this combination of four that. is a little bit odd. Yeah, it definitely is. They ban out the troll. In the end, I mean, they can. <laughs> yeah, Troll it has been played on mid a lot actually recently too, so that's a good hero. But for complexity, Troll on safe lane would be really good. Doom has no, not a lot of armor or any armor to work with, so he could have struggled remaining. versus that Troll. So. As complexity, do you just ban a mid Five hero like OD, Lina? I, I think Something OD or Lina is, is like you're calling it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, OD is, is the thing. Odi made a lot of sense because of that void, as you have stated before. And, and NIP, you've got to know Odi is being banned there. Like, nine I times mean, out of ten. We, we expected that, right? We talked about it. Yeah. They, they definitely know it. If we know it, they know it. So that means they want the Doom sure. more than they want the Odi. Yeah, it, it looks that way. They, <laughs> they have a different plan for that mid. But listen, it's NIP. Maybe ten we're missing something. Maybe remaining. it's one of those arc wardens or meepos or oh. something like that for ace you know Five it's always it's always an option for them to to pick one of these uh nasty heroes and honestly i, I can see an arc warden working Radiant here team pick. Oh. pa makes it a bit harder but i can still see an arc warden creeping in S some ace hero basically that we're waiting for and then you put the fata on the void it, it can work we put Fata on the SD. <laughs> on the SD? 3-3 three, three on the Void. All right. I mean, I they, don't know. I, yeah. This I is mean, like a 3-3 three, three Doom for me. In my head, it's like 3-3 three, three Doom. I so. PPD Chen. Sucks Five SD. I don't know. No, I think so. Do they go for like a Grimstroke now? A, a, a Timbersaw. Okie dokie. Well, he should do fine mid. So everything actually slots into place kind of normally. Yeah, it's, the, just the it's what we expected, right? It's not really... It, it, the only thing is that Ace is that void. Maybe something that we didn't call, but overall... Well, they, uh, they don't have a massive amount of, you know, like you were saying, that synergy with the Chrono. Not can you just put Ace mid and then put Fata Timber versus the Tide? You c could do that, right? Yeah. Well, that's, they're going to try and dance around these lanes and try and find the best matchup. Mm -hmm. Limp is the Pango, though. You called it. Mid. Mid-Pango. Mid-Pango potential. Mm -hmm. That could be interesting. He might end up being our MVP. You know what? Take a look at this. That's right. There are cars to be won. MVP of these ESL events, sponsored by Mercedes. Very nicely, giving cars away to the MVP of the tournament. And correct me if I'm wrong, it's, it's just been VP so far, hasn't it? Yep. MVP who, did they give, who did they give it to the last time? Is it Pasha? Pasha? I think it was I think, Pasha. I think it's Pasha as a wedding gift or something as yeah. well. Oh, that was nice. Solo, Solo won the first one. Solo won the first one, definitely. Then Pasha. And that's it, right? Was it just two? I thought it was three. Uh, but they didn't win the ter third one, right? Ah, okay. I think so. Fair enough. Or did they? I ah, might be wrong. In any way, I'm, I'm just looking forward to seeing where this timber is going to go. Is it going to be Fata mid? Uh, it looks so, yeah. So they're the standard lanes. Ace. Safe lane with that void. Stop, stop putting cheats in. I need them. I'll miss all the kills if I don't put the cheats in. Oh, Console yes. commands make me miss only 30% of the kills. Is that intentional? It looked intentional. So what, what do we have? 3-3 on the Doom, Saxa playing the SD, 
Fata is the Timbersaw wandering down mid with Ace Void and PPD Chen. I've seen Saxa do wonders on this Shadow Demon, so that might be really strong for them. At the same time, you have the Void plus the Chen on the safe lane versus the Kotal and the Tide. This might not really pan out very well for mm. an IP, as you're going to have the Tide Hunter with double, double Anchor Smash. It's pretty strong. Like what, Chakra Magic takes off three seconds and yeah, he's going to be constantly spinning around. Slapping you around with his anchor. So death on the tide. A Z Freak Cottle. Limp is the mid pango with an Orb of Venom Stout opening. Yep. Miracle PA and 343's the Sven this time around. I mean, Orb of Venom is oh, yes. a little interesting to start with. Do you, do you understand this? Instead of a Quelling Blade, he, you go for an Orb of Venom. Against a Timbersaw? I don't get it. I don't see it, but all right. I don't quite understand, but I'm not a very smart man, so that's to be expected somewhat. Yeah, well, you're supposed to be the... Oh, no, I'm supposed to be the Yeah. Smart. Damn it. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> see how that goes? Bit of a cell phone. <laughs> see, <laughs> Kotal and Chen dancing around in the jungle. Kotal is so fast. 350 movement speed level 1 with only a wind lace. Right, I'm watching mid. Shout at me if anything happens in the other lanes, but they don't seem particularly interesting. This one is Pango versus Timbersaw. <laughs> well, I guess the disarm going. I, I mean, on this lane, mid lane, Limp should do quite fine with uh, Swashbuckle, I believe. But Fata should take control of the lane eventually. With Swashbuckle, do you give him multiple stacks of reactive armor? I think so, yeah. He can just go like max stacks immediately from a swashbuckle, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, he did go for a whirling death, so he's not gonna get a whole lot early on. But Limp is gonna fall so low from all of that. Salve on Salve. Oh, no, Timber, timber brought an Oove as well. Stout quelling Orb of Venom on the Timber. Salve is still back in base. A quick Stormhammer stun from 343, put Saxa in his place. Nice little micro body block. Gonna get a few extra hits in. 3 3. three. Seems pretty comfortable up there. Down bottom, it's much more, uh, much more back and forth. Everyone's losing HP, regen being burnt and spent. Avoid is doing quite fine so far, though. Finding that uh, farm and levels under the tower. Altide is just chasing around PPD, not really doing a whole lot. Uh, PPD's chasing them. I mean, look at this build. He, he I, I believe he started with three or four fairy fires. Three, yeah. <laughs> so he has a bunch of damage plus the divine favor. Well. Normal on one of them now. Again, getting whacked around by the anchor smash. It's top lane. Wave meets behind the dire tier one. Three, four, three. Interesting pathing there. He's going to have to cut himself out of danger. Everything on a knife's edge in these lanes. There's so much kill opportunity coming out. Even just mid, Fata going to get himself a double damage rune, and Limp does have to be very wary of that. A whirling death and a couple of hits could quite easily be his undoing. We're going to see a go on 3-3. He's a pretty tanky beast, and he's got the Unholy Aura. 12 HP regen a second without popping a tango. Things stall up a little bit. I'm, I'm just clicking across the map, and I, I see no action. Now we have actually something happening on the bottom lane. Death's in an awful lot of trouble. Sax's rotation comes at the perfect time. I thought they had the backup of Z-Freak, but he's had to run away, and first blood picked oh. up by Saxa. I was just waiting for someone to break the stalemate, and Saxa ported in bottom, did what he had to do. Pressure that Tide Hunter, because if you if you let this Tide get a few levels and some advantage, he's gonna roll out of control, this Void isn't gonna have a fun time on this lane, so... Pressuring him this early on is definitely worth their while, worth their time, so... So I don't see how Pango wins mid. I don't see how Pango wins mid either. He has Swashbuckle though, so he can farm from distance. He can mess with lane equilibrium, perhaps push, you know, do stuff like that. But he is not going to win this. Like, there is no chance in hell I think he kills Fata ever. Unless Fata dives or something, does something silly. So just get to level 6, level 7 as quickly as you can, make some good TP rotations. Yeah, get those Javelins, Boots, whatever, Maelstrom, and just try to create action across the map, ignore Fata, you can't really deal with him. And how do you deal with Fata on this team, actually? Sven is getting low. 3-3. Has sticks, has mango. 
Should be fine. He's got another little Satter Blast to throw in. Limp has solo died middle. Yeah, I mean... It is problematic for Pango to survive versus Timber here. If you use that Swashbuckle to farm with it, then suddenly you find yourself Dolan like that and you die. And a regen rune. If things, if things couldn't get worse for Limp in the mid lane, Solo dies and Fata gets straight back up to full HP, full mana. Yeah. <laughs> Beginning of a disaster. After, yeah. He's level 6 now as well on, on Timber and Pango is level 4 so he's going to be completely zoned out now. Thank you. Oh wow! That TP gets cancelled. Death on the last microseconds of TP out there gets disrupted up, poisoned and nearly killed. But the PA's rotation miracle joins the fray moving forward towards Saxa but they just don't have the sustained damage or just sustained life totals between them. Yeah, you to might actually watch fight a bit this. now. Is Limp going to survive? He should. There's another timber chain here, but Fata, not really enough mana to commit, tries to move forward. Yeah, bottom lane, they're basically just going for the He's going for it, you know. Another bottle charge, another whirling death. Oh, it's getting close. The Orb of Venom slows. Fata doesn't get the job done quite. I mean, I said maybe he's going to do something crazy, this timber saw, and perhaps Pango uh, like bounces back like that. But Fata just do a tier two, and absolutely no one helped the Pango out, so... This game is looking very scary for Limp, and now they decided, all right, Limp, you can't farm mid. Just go to the jungle. We're going to let Keeper of the Light defend mid, and that's it. Yeah, not even a Quelling Blade on Limp, which I find quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he started with a Torbuck one on Even still not going back into one. Maybe now with an Illuminate and a Swashbuckle. They're trying to... Yeah, they're trying to get into the middle of Fata, but he is a tough nut to crack. Definitely is. Top lane, 3-4-3, three, three, nearly... Dying to 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Only one three, number separates three, three, them. Yeah. Limp and Fata battling it out on this rune. Top lane. Limp does not win this. Washbuckle's ready now and he gets to the high ground. Fata still chasing, hunting. Akotl trying to help out, but look at that damage. Poison stacks and Z-Freak about to die. Shakram just touches his backside. I think he tried to go for it. Oh, Swashbuckle misses. Ah, nice dodge. Fata drops the fine. shoulder. Oh, and he gets an him. arcane rune. No. Refill bottle, arcane rune. Yeah, beautiful. Great for him. Everything is working out. Maybe not for this doom on top lane, though. Three heroes surround him. No time for Saxa to disrupt. That's they have to get some kills somewhere across the map because this mid lane is a disaster for Limp right now. That's a position three, technically. Roaming level three tied at seven minutes. I mean, everyone is roaming on complexity sides. Miracle has been bottom for some time now. He rotates back top. He's level four and three quarters. He's not really feeling it either. He's not really having the time of his life. This Doom is almost six. A full level higher than PA. And Kotl is just going to have to lane bottom and keep trying to shove that wave with Illuminate as best he can. But here's that timing. PPD with a catapult. Level one. To, he's, he's level three, so he's not taking a point in one of his spells. That divine favor with the catapult could quite easily be a tier one down bottom lane. Saxa hiding in the trees with 3 3. Sven shows his face. And here comes the infernal blade. And there goes the war cry. Sven waves goodbye as he sprints back towards his base. And just walks it off. Mid lane Limp used his ult. And Limp's about to die. Shakram in three. I'm certain he survived. Swashbuckle in five. Are you certain? I'm Are you 100% sure? I'm certain. Fata missing a chain there. There we go. Uncharacteristic, but you knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I was counting on Fata missing that one chain. One crucial chain is Stop always... Stop Stormhammer. Oh, it's a, it's a doom. Can you really... Can you really attempt this? He throws the ulti onto the PA. His 3-3 tries to get himself away. Z-Freak has died down south as they push the tier 1, but it's the Doom. Keeping the attention of three dire heroes, duking in the tree line. Stick charges, pops out the salve. Nice little backpack micro, but he still will die. Yeah, at the same time, Kotl died trying to defend bottom tier 1. As you notice, they use that divine favor on the catapult, and they're slowly taking down this tier 1. Which is eventually going to fall. Eventually, they're not in a rush. The tier one on mid did fall to a timber. We just stole it. There's like 
Every time I see a timber game, I ask, like, do they have a way of dealing with this timber? And do they have a chance if they just ignore him? I have a feeling they have no ways of dealing with him. There is not even a hero that builds a vessel on their team. There, there are zero silences besides the swashbuckler, right? Yep. Lucky shot. That's the only silence that they can rely on. And they do not really have a whole lot of control either. So this timber, if he get, goes for Crimson, I, I don't see the way for them to kill him. And death. Getting picked off by PPD Sax's roaming maneuver into mid. Getting fatter and even better earlier laning stage as he cracks level 9, two levels ahead of his nearest counterpart, the Pango at 7. And three green heroes in the top 5 of net worth. Sven is, is, is wandering through this mid lane, but Fata needs the soul ring and maybe a bottle charge here to really continue and look for this kill. Keeps chaining forward. 3-4-3, three, three. sidestep, <laughs> right, up, down, A, B. The jokes are real. And Fata's like, sod this, it's not worth my time. <laughs> You're a Sven, I'm gonna go jungle. He's gonna go for bounty runes, that's worth his time. Ah, you're right. Refill that bottle up. Oh. Real nice. Doom gets a push on the tier one top now, aiming for the hand of Midas. Chen and Shadow Demon lurking top to mid. But NIP, it doesn't feel like they're under pressure. Oh, they haven't been under pressure for 10 minutes in this game. A 5k lead already up and running for them. And Complexity yet to get the Pango really you know, involved or online. Yeah, definitely this pango pick did not work out for them. Maybe it, it could have worked out if he wasn't really laning against the Timber Saw, but that Timber pick I think was really good for an IP. So Complexity do have you know, not a not the Wombo combo they had in the previous series, but they have a decent combo with Will-O-Wisp, Ravage, Rolling Thunder, and the PA's ability to kind of jump in and out of team fights. Definitely, their team fight is pretty solid. They just have to get together and use their spells, which is something that they've struggled with in the last series, so we'll see if they manage to do that a bit better this time around. And here comes the God Strength and the Pango. Doomed up though, so he can't get the Rolling Thunder out, and BPD one hit away from death, duking past the trees, finally cleared up. There's the Doom. Helps Fat to find the final swipe onto Limp, and now 343 cut off from his supply line. Stuck on the wrong side of the map. Yeah, that's a chance for a pango trade. Not really something that you want to be doing if you're complexity right now. You need to find these better coughs. And meanwhile, the PA, 3,300 net worth with a couple of Wraith bands. 3,000 gold saved up on Ace. Closing in on that Battle Fury very quickly. He is so far ahead of the PA. Ace is definitely doing better. She's thinking about phase boots while he's thinking about Battle Fury. Battle Fury. And what's next after the Battle Fury? Because he's very close that item. Doom, where's that Midas recipe? Back on the courier on its way out. Fata going Bloodstone. I don't know, what are your thoughts on Bloodstone on Timbersaw? I mean, it's alright. I don't think it's so... Uh, he's creating so much space and so many kills right now that I guess that Bloodstone is worth it, but overall, if he went for something like a Crimson, it would definitely... Nice two-man chrono top. Ace has found them and with a divine favor rips them to shreds. Z Freak down and 343 looks like he will be joining him. Body blocks from 3 3. <laughs> These body blocks. And I love how he continues running the same direction. Just He's like, what else can I do? In the other direction, there's a void and a timber waiting for me. So let's just. Can't juke out that. Are they just going to push high ground? They've got a double catapult, Lizard. I don't see why not. I mean, and Divine Favor, right? That we were <laughs> talking about constantly, so... Demon Edge treads on Void. Plenty of damage. Demon Edge treads, and they already feel strong enough. This is ridiculous. Here comes Pango. Beep, beep with the Will-O-Wisp. Catching three, and the Ravage follows. They should give another tick for the Will-O-Wisp, and Great Disables catches Ace, but he's on his way out with a Time Walk, and Fata chains down to the south. That's 3-3. Three, three. Turns to fight. 3-4-3. Three, three. I don't think this is the battle you want to take. He runs into the middle of the enemy team just to try buy some time for his squad to retreat. Death will get back to Fountain. But the Sven will not have that same luxury. As Complexity still continue to struggle defending their tier 3 in high ground. And these catapults are relentless. Considering the, the way they itemized them, they're taking barracks right now. It's insane. Like, look at this. And they jump onto Limp. Already using that swashbuckle means he has no means of escape. And now, doomed by 3-3, hounded inside their own base. 
We are 14 minutes into this game, and NIP have such a domineering lead. It's absolutely insane. Complexity on their last leg. Try to make this fight work out. They look for the kills, but they're not getting them. 3-3 finally dies, but in comes Fata with the sickest whirling death. An easy double kill, and he's not done just Zoom's yet. Zoom's coming back. There is summoning him, I believe. Yeah, there he is. There we go. Hello, I'm Void. I'm ready. Battle Fury's done, and your melee Rax is about to drop. Complexity's PA has a Blightstone phase boots. Can't really jump into... Can't jump into this to accomplish anything, and they've just lost a full lane. 14 minutes, 22 seconds. And the and Chrono, like, the Chrono wasn't there. Doom wasn't there even. Doom came, like, off cooldown in half of that fight. Honestly, how how certain in yourself do you have to be if you were NIP to just go for that high ground push like that? They even had, like, 2, 3k gold on Timber unspent that he didn't use. Like, he still has a 3k gold in his bank. Do you... Usually what teams do if they win like this, super hard in the laning stage. Alright, let's actually buy some items with that goal. Yeah. No, no, no. If you are in IP, you just go for high ground. That's how strong they felt they are after the laning stage. Because they were truly dominant in it. And that's like one of the reasons I was asking you, is, is Bloodstone good for Timbersaw? Because personally, I'm not a massive fan of the Bloodstone rush. Mm -hmm. I much prefer the kind of Crimson... Oh, okay, well... I guess, the solo kills. yeah, I, I think the cri the Crimson is going to be built by 3-3 eventually. So going for that Crimson, uh, so going for that Bloodstone on uh, Timbersaw makes sense. And it's just they didn't need the early sustain, they didn't need the early team fight damage mitigation because Complexity has no damage they need to mitigate. Exactly. <laughs> Very well put. After that Ravage passes, you, you basically fear nothing. Ravage, Will-O-Wisp, you get the perfect chain of the ticks as well. And still, a team fight going... The other way. Smoke up from Complexity. Not they catching Miracle, though. They have that Ravage again, so perhaps they can make a move. And the Will-O-Wisp. On to PPD they go. Should be quick and easy. Down goes the Chen, but in comes the Chrono. Nice grab. The Will-O-Wisp will buy some time, and in comes the Pango. Dodging the Chrono, and the Ravage connects, but Fata's so tanky with Ace jumping away. The Ignis Fata just dissipates. And Fata has got so much left in the tank. I don't see Complexity escaping with their full squad here. They're going to lose at least one. 3-4-3 three, three should be a sacrificial little Sven. Fanta will quite happily eat him up. Yeah, you're happy with that. If you are Complexity, at least you lost only the Sven. Oh, if that Willing Death had landed limp, may have been in for a world of hurt. Are they going to go for Rosh? Are they going to pressure high ground again? What's NIP gonna do? That's the, basically the only question, as they're fully in control of this match. Imagine being this void. 9k net worth nearly up. Yasha Battle Fury done. Your Doom now has a Vlads. You've got to feel incredibly strong as NIP with a 13k lead. What, what? Is there a way that they can mess this up? Is there a way that they can... There's get... always a way. There's always a way to mess things up in dotes. It, I've been taught that lesson the hard way many times, but honestly... If you're an IP, and if you're in this kind of a situation, it's very hard, and it's very unlikely. And where are they off to now? 3-4-3. Three, three. I guess Rosh. You have the Vlads almost finished up on Doom. He has it, actually. Finished up Vlads on Doom. Just go take that Rosh, get that Aegis. After that, you just continue pushing high ground to all the Carties that PPD is bringing with him. So we can have another one when Roshan dies. If he takes that third point, get the three catapults going. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to do that or Divine Favor. Whatever he does. I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot. Timbersaw coming forward. No. There, there he is. Fata joins the party. Shadow Demon doing a great job shoving out mid lane as well. Complexity, no angles of attack towards the Roshan pit. I don't know what's going on, they just knew they didn't... Z-Freak? ...have a chance to contest. Hello, sir. He has blinding light and port, perhaps. Uh, oh. Uh, bash. Oh, God. I shouldn't have said anything, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have said that, it, seriously. That Poor so Z-Freak. I'm so, so sorry. I just have to. Every time Every time I see someone TPing in front of someone with a bash... With a bash or a root or something. Bash, root, yeah. bash, You just root. have to say it. That's true. Now they have the ages. The Kotal is that for 30 seconds. This is this tier two on mid is definitely gonna fall. Do you, do you have that in Dota as well? Like, let's say you're queuing for a game and you're waiting 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and then you don't say anything. But as soon as you say, "Why don't I have a game? Where's my queue?" 
dun, 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 dun. the cue pops. Uh, that's not how it works for me. For me, it's usually if I go to grab a snack or to piss or something like that, it instantly pops. Oh, that's Sod's Law. And I missed the game. That's how it works. Oh, unfortunate. Now for me, if I'm playing, you know... I, I've learned to measure my piss time so that I can always kind of go, <laughs> go back. No, if, if I call for a regener in bottom, I'm getting a regener in bottom. If I call for... You know, an AK-47 in, in PUBG. I'm getting that. Jump in. 3-4-3 three, three already. God strength and a good Ravage. Connecting on three. But here comes the Void with the biggest chrono you've ever bloody seen. He can't Rolling enter it, though. Stopping him from doing anything, though. With a Will-O-Wisp there. Void's been zoned out. And they've killed off Sax in the back. And it's Ignis Fatus still doing a good amount in this fight. Keeping Ace and Fata locked in place. And they've lost the two supports. With no Doombringer here. This is a big dive from NIP to try and force Complexity to capitulate. And they will... Take down the Sven on the left-hand side as 3-3 gets the solo kill. But this this 3v5 is not is not how things are meant to go. NIP are 3v5 in complexity, and they are not breaking a sweat. I Ace mean, maybe now is... There's so much region and damage mitigation between the three of them. Ace with the time walk, then you have 3-3 with uh, just base region from Doom and Devour. Then you have Fata, obviously. He's a timber, so... So even though they're fighting 3 versus 5, it's, it's NIP that's... That's th they are the ones that are hunting. They aren't really scared. Uh, they do not take that high ground, though. So. There's that and that chronosphere with the rolling thunder. That was funny. <laughs> you shall not pass, Void, sir. He's just a spinning ball he's, in the sky. Yeah, he thought that he, <laughs> he actually thought that he's gonna be <laughs> that he's gonna be able to go underneath it. Not how it works, it seems, though. Nope. Dota 2 doesn't understand height. Yeah. Dyer's bottom shrine is under There is a crimson for the timber. So he's the one that finished it. All right. I mean, he gets to it faster, and Doom can get something cheaper or something Dyer's like an AC as well. Yeah, go for that big assault, your ass. Yeah, a lot of armor to to deal with the PA's dazzle, to deal with the PA in general. Fallen. And if you deal with her and her damage, who actually remains on the side of complexity? This Pango with the maelstrom that's not going to do a whole lot. Not. At this stage of the game, at least. Where's Miracle Bean? Oh, that's where. Blurring. Hiding in plain sight on the map. But NIP, they know exactly what they need, what they want. And it is Tier 3s and additional lanes of barracks. Faceless Void up towards top. Holding Chrono, maybe looking for the Pango. They've always got this Chen to recall as well, so Void can actually look for solo kills on the side lanes while the rest of his squad find pickoffs inside the enemy base. Pango jumping in very aggressively. He's got a regen rune to toy around with. But tier 3 not standing too strong now. That's Ace with Aegis for another minute. And the Chrono. He's just standing in front of the tower, soaking in the damage, getting the stacks up. Doesn't really care at all. Uh, Pango is smoked. Limp is going for one last ditch effort. Yeah, we're gonna, uh, we, we've got we've to watch this. We don't care about anything else. We only care about beep beep. Pango incoming. Who can he roll on? There's PPD. Chen gets caught. The Ravage connects and a three man stun, but oh, double buyback arriving as the Chrono in the back will catch the Kotchal and now look for that Sven. Easy pickings for Ace. And only one buyback from Complexity as the Radiant team can bring reinforcements in pretty quickly, but Ace is silenced and Aegis is lost as Fata onto Limp. A bit more damage is all he needs, but the Ignis Fatus keeps the Pango up and running. NIP, you need to focus buildings. You need to focus down that Will-O-Wisp. Complexity running out of gas with no ultis, no damage, and now no buildings. I don't see Meanwhile, really Boom any Meanwhile, is just chasing Tide on the other side of the map completely, but yeah. Welp. Dead Tide. For 30 seconds, though. He has buyback, but no Ravage, so I don't see really the point. They'll lose this Rax regardless. NIP maybe could even think about shifting down towards bottom and taking the entire base. Oh, he actually bought out, so he doesn't have that buyback any longer. But he's up in 10 seconds, so he should be fine. Limp. Again, hyper-aggressive with these swashbuckles. 3-4-3, just going to chuck a couple of stuns their way, but there's the Doom in the back. Miracle gets the pick on Saxa. A backstab, not really working out too well for them. 3-3 three, is going to make his escape, and Fata with Ace. The dynamic duo, they are destroying. A devastating performance from them. Complexity, 
PA dead for 40. No buyback available as she was trying to get that BKB, but finally limp with a rolling thunder. Nice chain stun onto Ace. There's another one, and another one, and they nice. get the kill. <laughs> now, on to the Timber Song. <laughs> well, how though? <laughs> what exactly do you do to him? Yeah, about that. Maybe they get some kills in the back. PPD did buy back for this. So a die back on the cards for him. The trouble is, Fata and 3-3 are big tanky boys and they are not messing around. I mean, they're, they're just running away from them. They're just ignoring them. You can't really deal with these two beefy guys. Like, look at them. Like, Vlad's, drums, AC completed on the Doom. Now you have the Fata with... I don't even know what he's going to buy next. He actually has AC and quick buy as well, but he should realize that Doom has finished it. Honestly, you, they can kill the Void as they've demonstrated, but they can't deal with uh, Doom and the Timber Saw. As long as they maybe juke them somehow, ignore them. Oh, sucks up. Well, Miracle gets a quick and free pick on the SD. That's that MKB on, on, on Void now too, to deal with the PA. My goodness. I was wondering why he didn't have Manta finish. Yep. There it is. Full MKB. Fata with the bounty runes and 3-3 with two bottom. Completely choke out complexity even further. As Limp has been relegated to Javelin Purchaser. A Maelstrom, a Javelin, aiming for Blink. His net worth 7,400 Struggle City as he is half of that of any of the Radiant Heroes who are starting to hit 15k. Are we going to see some smoke action perhaps? They do have the Ravage. They're all clumped up here. So, Does PPD have any catapults? <laughs> because bottom lane, there is a catapult. Why aren't you taking ca Cartes? Come on, PPD. Yeah. They're waiting for Rosh instead. Rosh might respawn in 10 seconds, but he might respawn in 3 minutes and 10 seconds too. So, I wonder if they're going to be patient enough to wait for this. So far, they didn't really show perfect display of patience and discipline. To the P side of an IP. PPD can send a creep in, can't he? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then they'll know exactly when the big man returns. So now we have Manta on Ace. That makes him close to unkillable now, as you can get out of silences, dodge storm hammers. Yeah, it's much harder to kill this void. Oh, what's this here? Ravage onto two with a rolling thunder. 3-3 three, three disrupted. Saxa keeps him alive and Fata just doesn't give a damn. Finally, the Doom will fall. Illuminate not accomplishing too much and Void. He thought about the Chrono there, but gets hit by the Will-O-Wisp just in time to stop him from casting that ulti. Death. Yules it up. There's Fata with a catch and the kill. Beyond godlike for your Timber Saw and Complexity back into their base they go. And they bought back the Doom. They recalled him with Chen. And now they can just go and push bottom lane instead. Well, Tide Hunter is, does have that buyback. He's a big part of their team fight. He has Lads Medallion, but he might have to buyback. They're they're losing Megas here. This is something they cannot handle. PA did go for the 25% cleave. There's the buyback on Tide. What with 15 seconds remaining? Three four three from the back, getting a catch with a storm hammer. Saxa though, helped by the mech. That's PPD with a save, and now a three-man Chrono. This is gonna break some ankles. The BKB of PA completely wasted in the duration and dead for 50, 75, the PA and the Tim, uh, and the Pangolier. Death will follow them and GG is called. Game one goes the way of NIP. Yeah, the game kind of went how we expected, didn't it? NIP just performed the way they should and won the game. I think maybe this was a little bit of a harder stomp that we expected considering how fast they climbed that high ground. But the way the lanes went, it's no wonder, honestly. That timber lane, it's its its always a problem. You either have to have a hero that works well versus timber in the lane, or you have to have a solution for him later on. But I believe it was the last pick, right? So it, it wasn't really an easy... I mean, they, they just outpicked them with that last pick. Fata timber. I was expecting ace cheese hero for the last pick, but instead it was the Fata one. And with that timber in front, Everyone else felt out of reach. 13 to 0. Exactly. How do you kill him? If five minutes in, he's diving that pango on the tier 2 and there's absolutely no help.
31k hero damage. Yeah, 31,000 damage, building 3.4k. Just a beast on, on this timber saw. Monstrous performance. NIP close out game one reasonably simply. So it seemed. Complexity still looking shaky, still looking like they've got a few problems to solve. Game two coming up in just a little bit. So we'll make sure to get ourselves into the lobby, get you all ready and set up for it. As we round up day one of the group stage for Katowice 2019 with Cole versus NIP.